Welcome. In a previous video, I talked about how to delete old Time Machine backups, and I'll put a link below to that video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about shrinking the sparse volume that you store the backups in. So the Time Machine backups are stored on what's called a disk image, and the disk image is set up where it can expand the more data you put into it. But if you delete items from within that image, it doesn't always go back down. So you can explicitly do that with some commands on the command line. So as I said in the last video, you can also screw things up when you do these kind of tasks. So don't do this if you're uncomfortable with it. It's not a bad idea to also have multiple different backups. So if you wreck one backup, you're not wrecking all of your backups. So on my Mac here, I'm going to type command space and I'll just type terminal to open the terminal up. Clear my screen. So first I need to have access to the time machine backup. So if you have it on a USB drive, you'll want to plug the drive in. Mine's on a network share. So I'm in the finder here. I'll go up to go and then connect to server and I'll connect to my server where I have the backup. I'll open up the share on mine. I called it DS Time Machine. I'll hit OK. So we have this opened up. We see the different bundles here. So I have three Macs that are backing up to this share, and I could, in theory, have this open. So this is the one I want, this MBP for MacBook Pro. If I double click on this, it will open. It'll show up here as a mounted share. And before I do anything, I need to close that. So I'll walk you through that. So if I go to the terminal here, I'll type ls space forward slash volumes and the V is capital there. I'll hit enter and I'll put a link below to my website where I'll have these commands so you can copy and paste them. So we see I have time machine backups here. So I want to unmount that. So I want to type hdi util space and then I want to type detach space and then forward slash volumes forward slash. And I'll just start typing this out. I'll type TIM, I'll hit tab, and it will auto complete that. Otherwise, you need to type it out and you need to escape your spaces. What that means is where there's spaces here, you need to have a backslash in front of them. But a lot of times, if you don't have any other shares mounted that start with like TIM or TIME, you can just start typing it, hit tab, and it will complete for you. So I'll hit enter here, and this will detach it. So it says the disk is ejected. I'll clear my screen. So next, I want to compact this, and that will shrink it down. So first, I'm going to see what the size is. And to do that, I'm not going to walk through all the steps here, but I'm going to log into the server that this is on, and I'll check the file size there. OK, so I checked that, and it says it's 409 gigabytes on the server. So I've already gone through, and I've deleted a bunch of old backups. So I'll go back to my Mac here, and I'll type HDI util space and I'll type compact space and now I want the name of the bundle itself which is this mbp.backup bundle. So I'll drag that over, I'll hit enter and this will take a little while to run. So if you don't want your computer to go to sleep, I explained this in the last video, I'll explain it again. I'll open up system preferences on my computer, I'll go into the application folder and then system preferences and then you can go to desktop and screensaver and look for this hot corners down here, click on it, and you can set one of your corners to be disable screensaver. So you can change that to whatever you want. I set disable screensaver, I'll hit okay. I'll close this, I'll close this. And now while this is running, I'll take my mouse and I'll put it down in the bottom right and that will keep my computer from falling asleep while this is running. So I'm going to let this run. I may record and speed up the video or I'll cut the video and come back to it when it's done. I'm not sure exactly how long this will take. So I'll resume the video when this is finished. Okay, that finished up. I took a little break, so I don't know how long that took. So I'll go back here and run this again. And these numbers line up pretty good. It says it reclaimed 18 gigabytes of space and it looks like it reclaimed 18 gigabytes of space. So if I select my hard drive here and hit Command I, it says I have 313 gigabytes of space used on this hard drive. So if this is backing up my whole hard drive, it means I have about 60 gigabytes of that that is backed up data at some point or another. Because if you do an initial backup, it should be about the same as what you have on your hard drive. So if I wanted to recover more space, I could remove a couple more backups. So I do still have some older backups I could remove. So the smallest I could probably get this is around the 313 gigabytes, give or take. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.